today on Miss Bale's story time we are in the new reading space which is amazing and I love it and it is also Wednesday so we've got hashtag reread on Wednesday so if you do give the video a watch or you want to show me that your little ones have been watching and listening please put that hashtag at the end um, and also Miss Bale's story time we know it by now it's the Instagram page and also on YouTube so if you want to go over to YouTube and subscribe that would be amazing so today's book was gifted to me by a lovely lady called Julia Seal and I'm so excited to share it with you all. It is such a beautiful story. Are you ready? Good. The Sketchbook. Lily loved to draw. She began drawing as soon as she woke up and continued drawing late into the night. She drew at the kitchen table, in the park and on the train. Where others saw the ordinary, Lily had a special way of seeing the extraordinary. But Lily was shy and afraid of what others might think of her drawings, so she kept her pictures hidden in a sketchbook. Lily's favourite place to draw was at the harbour. As the seagulls circled above, Lily wondered what it would be like to see the world so differently, the way only birds can. Lily especially liked to draw other children. Sometimes she'd even draw herself joining in with them. Today, the children were searching for crabs in the harbour's rock pools. What do crabs actually do when they are hidden under the sea? wondered Lily. She drew a crab. Then she added a top hat and a tap dancing shoes. I will call you Bob, she decided. Just then, the wind began to pick up. The boats clicked and clanked as they moved up and down on the splashing waves. I'd better go, said Lily. She gazed at Bob the crab. I will draw a friend for you tomorrow, she promised. But as Lily hopped off the deck at the dock, her feet slipped on the damp stones. Her sketchbook flew out of her hands and tumbled to the ground. A gust of wind whipped up the pages, twirling them into the air. Swirling, curling, flying away, just out of reach. My pictures, gasped Lily. People stared, children pointed, tears rolled down Lily's face. She grabbed what was left of her sketchbook and turned to run away. But then Lily noticed something. People were smiling. Is this my boat? I never noticed how grand she looks, the fisherman exclaimed. This looks like my Charlie. I do miss him, sighed a village lady. May I keep this? Is that a tap dancing crab? asked the children. They giggled. Everyone crowded around Lily. Did you draw all these? They are wonderful. You are quite an artist. And for the first time in Lily's life, words came spilling out of her. Twirling, swirling, flying free. The children came closer to listen. That's Bob, Lily explained to them. He's a crab that has taken up tap dancing because he has lots of legs and he's right, really rather good. The children laughed. Can we see your other pictures? They asked. Yes, she exclaimed. Each one of her drawings had a story told in a special way that only Lily could tell it. And now she'd found a voice and friends to share them with. That was a beautiful story. I hope you guys all enjoyed it and thank you so much Julia for sending me it. I love it. Now I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the new space. Is it better than where we were before? Do you guys prefer it? Is there anything else you want to see? Let me know. Uh, remember the hashtag we read on Wednesdays 
and Miss Girl Story Time as always, give us a like, give us a comment, give us a share, give us a subscribe on YouTube. We need to get more subscribers. But yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you all later. Bye everyone.